All right, guys, I have finished writing, and now I'm going to give a dramatic reading of what is called Markiplier's Tender Peanut Butter. One day, Mark woke up with a severe case of the cravings. At first, he thought, I may be pregnant. Then he realized, that's impossible. Not because he was a man, but because his love does not take the human form. His love is peanut butter. This craving was, of course, his tender lover, Peanut Butter. And you may be thinking, that's just her name. But really, he's just in love with Peanut Butter. So Mark pulled on his thirsty pants. He walked to his kitchen and looked in his pantry. There was no Peanut Butter to be found. He became smelly because when Mark gets mad, he sweats. And when you sweat, you smell. He thought to himself, where's the best place to go to get Peanut Butter? And then it hit him the habit. He got in his potato and drove away. Once he arrived at the habit, everyone there was moist with fear. There was a peanut butter shortage. <laughs> Mark then asked the clerk, what can we do at a time like this? My love, my only love that has ever loved me back is gone. The clerk said, there is still something we can do. Mark said, what's that? What can we do? She said, grow it. Then Mark spooned the clerk because he was so happy. Hope was alive again. <laughs> Mark left, but he became conspicuous. He started yelling and shouting at the top of his lungs. I will find you again, my love, and I will eat you. People looked at him with strange looks and thought to themselves, that man must have a booby stuck in his pineapple. <laughs> Mark became aware that he had no idea how to grow nuts. So he got on his computer and the first thing he searched was Leonardo de Capri Sun. He laughed for a bit and then it hit him. All he needs to do is put the nuts in the ground. So he planted the nut. He waited days and days for the nut to bubble, but no bubble came. <laughs> what did sprout was a small bush. He had thought he'd failed. He thought he ended up just like Jack Septicai, for Jack had always failed to grow proper nuts. So in his hysteria, he dug and <laughs> dug and then found nuts grow underground. He took them home and the ground them up into such a creamy, juicy butter. He was pleased. He was so pleased that he wanted to share it with Matthew Santoro. When he called Matthew, Matthew would only try some of Mark's butter if he could bring his love jelly. <laughs> Guys, hope you enjoyed that fanfic that we wrote together. If you want to see this again, make sure you give this video a like and make sure you comment down below with your person, place, thing, adjective, adverb, action down below. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. High five.